Great whites captured imaginations of many a generation in the movies called sensation, spreading fear across the whole nation. What a wonder of a creature. The Great White Shark isn't just an apex predator, it's also a hardy survivor. Arguably the most infamous member of the Convictian lineage, the Great White Shark has a long lifespan, superior wound healing, and cancer resistance. In 2018, a group of researchers set out to sequence the genome of the Great White Shark for the first time to discover the molecular basis of its survivability and how it may be applied. To understand their findings, we must start at the building blocks of genetic material. Every living creature is constructed from the nucleic acid DNA. The arrangement of DNA sequences into genes, genes into chromosomes, and then chromosomes into one genome creates distinction between species, just like how the same toy building blocks can form different models. Sequencing the genomes of species has given us key insights into their physiology, opening the gateway for game-changing research. Take the Tasmanian devil, a marsupial species endangered by a transmissible facial cancer. Genome sequencing in 2012 discern the molecular evolution of the cancer and how it spread. This proves invaluable, directing conservation actions like cancer immunization that are bringing the species back from the edge. By 2018, it was high time that the Great White Shark had its genome sequenced, not just due to its outstanding survival traits, but also its cultural significance and vulnerable conservation status from overfishing. While genomic analysis had been performed in 2014, this was limited to its mitochondrial DNA a small fraction of its total genome. To assemble a full Great White Shark genome, the researchers used heart tissue DNA from an Atlantic female. This was imported into the Illumina 2500 sequencing platform for deep sequencing. Short DNA sequences were then read into a SOAP de novo 2 gene assembler to create an initial genome assembly. This was combined with blood DNA from a specific male to form a final genome. To analyze this genome and compare it against other species, the researchers used two online resources. Panther is a gene database that was used to compare the ontology enrichment or overrepresentation of certain genes in three chondric dives, the great white, whale, and elephant sharks against five model vertebrates. The program PAMEL was used to search for genes that had undergone positive selection, favored and conserved by evolution over millions of years due to conferring survival benefits. Orthologous gene sequences evolved from a common ancestor across different species of the great white, whale and elephant sharks were compared against those of other fish species. The results show that the great white shark has a large genome of 41 chromosomes and 4.63 gigabase pairs of DNA, almost 50% more than humans. Repeated DNA sequences comprised a whopping 58.55% of the genome. Amongst these, long interspersed nuclear elements, or lines, were most common. Lines are a type of transposon, a gene that can excise itself from a chromosome and transplant itself somewhere else, potentially causing mutations that can lead to cancer. But this doesn't make sense. Weren't great white sharks supposed to have cancer resistance? Indeed, the prevalence of lines was balanced by the positive selection of genome integrity maintenance genes, a third of all positively selected genes. These are responsible for mechanisms like tumor suppression and DNA repair. These genes tended to regulate or influence p53, a protein that regulates the cell cycle and prevents the unchecked growth of mutated cells into cancer. As for the famed wound healing of great whites, researchers discovered positive selection and gene content enrichment for two main genes. The first was fibrinogen gamma chain, which enables blood clotting. The second was keratin, type 1 cytoskeletal 18, which provides mechanical support and injury protection. By unearthing positive selection and gene enrichment, these findings provide empirical evidence for the superior wound healing and cancer suppression of great whites. While these traits had been speculated, previous evidence of cancer suppression was purely anecdotal, and a 2013 study on wound healing sharks focused on healing rates instead of molecular physiology. The study is also another piece in the puzzle of Pateau's paradox, the mystery of why larger animals don't have increased cancer rates despite having more DNA. The researchers speculate that the great white shark's high transposon content, a result of its large genome, may have acted as an evolutionary selecting agent for superior genome integrity mechanisms. This theory should hopefully guide further research into genomic suppression of cancer. The great white's cancer suppression may also have implications for research into human cancer treatments. 
Indeed, studies have already shown that epigonal cells of some sharks can induce apoptosis, or self-destruction, in cancer cells. To quote one of the study's co-authors, understanding how these genes might be inoculating these animals from cancer could be a huge benefit to humans. The impact of decoding the great white shark's genome towards zoology and biomedicine is immense, and I am sure that its ripples will continue to grow.